How's it going class? Uh, this video is for our Mac users. Uh, this will be the installation of Python and PyCharm. So for things first, we're going to go to python.org slash downloads. Uh, once you're here, uh, you will see two different types of Python. It's, we're going to download uh, 3.6 for the purposes of this class. So go ahead and click on that. It'll automatically start downloading. Once it's finished, click on it and click open. Once you do that, this uh, little pop-up will appear and you're just going to go continue, 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 agree, and it's safe so you don't have to worry about any viruses. Uh, this portion tells you that it's going to take 105 megabytes from your computer. Just make sure you have that much space at least. Uh, go ahead and install. Now you're going to type your password in. And it will take a few seconds. Okay, the installation was successful. So you can close out of this. And this is just the installer. Uh, we can go ahead and move that to the trash. Now, it might be the case that you get um, an another pop up that says you might need to access or grant access rather to python.org so what you'll have to do is go to system preferences go to security and privacy and it's going to say python.org uh, do you allow access you can say open anyway another way is just to click on this lock and authenticate this is just because uh, python.org is not an app developer for the app store. So your Mac computer is just saying, are you sure you want to install from a website? And obviously it's going to be safe. So you can just do that. Uh, at that point, you can just go through the installer again and it'll be the same. Okay, so we can close out of this. Okay, so now that we have Python 3.6 installed, we can go ahead and install PyCharm. So go to your browser, type in PyCharm then PyCharm by JetBrains. Click on that link. So then immediately we'll see PyCharm Python IDE for professional developers. Download now, click on that. So first thing, make sure that you are in Mac OS. You don't want to download the wrong thing. So you're going to see two different download buttons for two different types of PyCharm. Uh, the difference being that this one has a lot of features that you'll pay for and this one's free and we'll get the job done. So we're going to go for free and getting the job done. Make sure you have at least 174 megabytes uh, of hard drive space. Then click on that. Uh, you will see a thank you and you can type in your email and subscribe, but this is not uh, required. Uh, this is free software, no strings attached. So we'll just wait for the download to complete it should start by itself okay so now that it's done we're gonna click on the arrow click on show in finder so we'll see it in here so go ahead and double click it okay so you'll see this little little portion uh, go ahead and just click on this and drag it into the application folder. If you hold it over it long enough, um, it'll appear like this and you'll see the plus sign. If you see that, just let go. And you know you did it right if this pops up. Okay, so it has been dropped into applications folder. So go over to the installer and then check that. We no longer need it. You can X out of this one. Uh, we're gonna go to the applications portion in our finder. And we're gonna look for PyCharm. PyCharm CE, there it is. Double click. And we're gonna open it for the first time. Py PyCharm CE is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? From JetBrains, so yes. Okay, so 
complete installation, you can import your settings from a previous version of PyCharm. So we're going to assume that no one has that. So I do not have a previous version of PyCharm. Okay. We can X out of this. We don't need it anymore. All right. So you'll see this little portion first key map scheme. You can leave that alone. That's by default IDE theme. This is just a, uh, how do you want it to look like? If you click on this, click on preview. This is how, it doesn't matter what this says, but this is how it'll look. If you click on Darkula, this should change. There it is. So you can kind of mess with how you want it to look. I personally like the Darkulas. Uh, it doesn't matter. It has no effect on your code. So enable this, you can leave that alone. Script path, you can leave that alone. And click OK. The appearance that I chose will require it to restart, so might as well just restart it now. If you chose to leave it as white, then you'll omit this part. So we're going to wait for it to restart. Okay, so now we're here. We're going to, before we create any project, we want to configure, uh, we're going to go to preferences. We are going to go to project interpreter and click on this drop down. So now you'll see, you should be able to see library frameworks, Python .framework, version 3.6 bin Python 3.6. Right. And once you click on that, you'll just click apply. And that's all you need to do there and click OK. Now this will, once you do it once, you will never have to do this again. Every project you create will be using the 3.6 version of Python. And every project you make will fall under that category. OK. So now that that's done, you can create a new project. We can call this test. Click on, you can, you in like we chose before, 3.6 interpreter. That's what we want to use. Create. Did you know uh, these tips are helpful? Um, for me, I do not want to show these tips nor in startup nor ever so I'm just gonna close out of that okay so now we get this um, this window here so you won't see anything so you're, now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna right click on test the test folder we're gonna go to new we're gonna create a new Python file now we're gonna name this now you can name it whatever you'd like you can call it test I if this is my first program I would call it main does not really matter. It's just as long as you know what it is, it's fine. So we're going to go with main for now. Hit enter or OK. OK, so from here we can start typing. So what we're going to want to do, um, we're going to print a sentence. So you're going to type print, open, close uh, parentheses. And we're going to do single quotes and we're going to say, Pineapple belongs on pizza. So once you type this, this is our, our first line of code that you'll be writing. This is very simple. All we are we going to do here is output this portion. We'll get more into all these functions a little later in the class. But for now, we just want to make sure everything's running correctly. So to run this, we're going to right click. We're going to say run main. Uh, you only need to do this on the first time. All right, got that. I need to get that out of the way. Uh, you only need to see, run this the first time like that, right clicking and pressing run. And you'll see here it says pineapple belongs on pizza. After this, if I change this or if I add another, another line, Let's say my name is Kevin. My name is Kevin. Uh, after this, you no longer have to right click and run. You can just press this green play button. 
by doing that, it'll run your program. It says pineapple belongs on pizza. My name is Kevin. All right, so I hope this helps. Um, post any questions you have on Piazza or bring your questions to class. I'll see you Monday.